Hi everyone, Joyce from Virtual Fundamentals and uh, just going to do the really, really quick video on some of the pro features um, of Jing. So Jing Pro has a couple of additional features that um, obviously the free version doesn't have. Not a ton, but a few and whether or not it's worth it to you, you'd need to, you'd need to judge that. So anyway, let's start by doing another quick capture so that I can show them to you, okay? And it'll be a quick review. You're going to go to your Jing Sun and click on, uh, again, the Capture button here. And let's go again and just choose what we want to capture. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to again click our Capture Video button. Three, two, one. And here we are again. Uh, we're recording. You can see the video on the side. We're not going to make this very long. And now that I've had what I want, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click Stop. And as we did before, we're going to get our preview. Okay. So here's our preview. So now we're in the Pro version, and you note that we have some additional choices here. Okay. And if we could look at these buttons, let me move this up maybe. You can see that I've got now a share via screencast, which you have in the free Jing, a save button, and an embed button, which I have created, and I'm going to show you that. I have a YouTube and a Twitter, and I don't know, I must have done another training and created, I have two YouTube buttons for some reason. Um, an edit in Camtasia Studio. Now, Camtasia is TechSmith's high-end video marketing tool and they have all of the um, editing tools um, in that particular software that is a higher end as I said so it's uh, rather more costly but certainly you are invited to check that out and then of course we have our cancel button and we have this other button which we're going to use which is called customize Jing buttons now that's the one we're going to use right now we're going to go ahead and just like a little wrench here. Now, if you were to go right and you had already recorded it and you wanted to go and um, share a video you'd already recorded, you can get to that same place by the third ray here on your sun, which says more. And if you were to click on that in the pro version, and then you would click this middle one that says preferences with the two cogs on it here, cog wheels. And when you clicked that, you would come here, okay? And now you're going to see that here are your, uh, is your MPEG-4 version, which the Pro gives you. This is what the SWF that you had in the free version. And now you can do it in um, MPEG-4. And you've got uh, proxy saying some other things that you can customize. But what you would want to do here is then go to Customize Buttons, which is what we're going to take a quick look at right now. Okay? So I'm going to get out of that. And we're going to go ahead and click on Customize Jing Buttons. Now, here's our button tool pad. Okay? So, again, if you this does have this one-click share with YouTube, which is a uh, feature of Pro. It has a couple of share buttons that you can do automatically. See, as the Twitter's here. So, if you were to go and say you wanted to share it with YouTube here, you would just click on the YouTube button. And then you would enter your account information, okay? And then you would do save, and it would go ahead and upload your video directly to YouTube. And again, you have the Twitter account here, which would be the same. You'd need to put in your uh, Twitter pin and Facebook. So you'd have to go ahead and allow them authorization, okay? And they have Flickr, and they have FTP. So uh, here's where your pro tools are for, you know, you've got a bit, a bit of extra um, capabilities here, all right? Not, not necessarily editing, but at least on sharing, okay? So which allows you like one button sharing. So let's say we wanted to go ahead and create, customize a new button, okay? Just cancel out of the YouTube. And you're only allowed seven buttons, I guess. So let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight, I guess. So I have one left. No, notice there's the new button here, okay? So we're going to click on the new. And here we are back as 
into our button settings here and I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, a button that I'm going to make as my embed so um, I've got two YouTube so let me just uh, I don't want it to say YouTube let me choose oh I'll just choose this again okay share being screencast the button will look like this it's really limited and then I'm going to go, it asks me what my account is and stuff. But what I want to do is I'm going to click on this button. Now I can either save a URL here or I'm going to choose embed code. Okay, that's what we're going to look at now is choosing to embed code. Um, the share folder is Jing. I want to allow commenting and you can notify me by email if there's a code. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and save that now. And so now here's my new button. Oh, where's my embed? Uh, where's my embed button? There it is. Edit embed. Okay. And that's the one that I want to use. My edit embed code. Okay. So now we're going to close this. Okay. And I have a new button here. Okay. So down here I have in my embed code. All right. And so here's my the movie we just made. I am going to just leave the date there for the name. That's fine. And I'm going to click on embed. All right. And so notice down here is uploading it. See? To screencast my Jing folder. And it's uploading it. And while it's, it's, it's showing me the progress. And once that done, that's done, it's going to actually give me the embed code. Um, that I can go and then put wherever I would like to and I'm just gonna wait a second so you can I can show you how to to do that almost done it's very it was a very short movie okay there we go so now it's going to tell me the capture was sent and the embed code is ready to be pasted so it's copied the embed code so now all I need to do is open um, any place I can paste HTML. So for the purposes of today, I'm going to just go ahead and open Notepad, by the way, which if you didn't know that, you can paste HTML code. And I'm going to right mouse click, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paste it. And there it is. There's the embed code for my movie that I just created. So I can take this code, for instance, go to my website, and in my element that allows me to paste HTML or on Facebook you know you can do the WYSIWYG but it also has the HTML coding back on your fan page or whatever and if you're not there yet don't worry about it you know at some point you'll remember that you have it if you have this tool you can use it and then I just copy this and then I go and paste it there and it will automatically put my video right into my website or what have you okay so that's that's how you can do that that is how you would <coughs> oh, excuse me how you would um, customize your buttons on Jing Pro that's pretty much it uh, the whole package so um, hopefully these videos videos have been helpful to you and uh, you'll get Jing at least the free version and try it out and uh, see how it works for you and what uh, we're gonna I'm gonna do next now is move on to the next free tool which is Screencast-O-Matic and I'll start that in a uh, separate video and uh, we'll go from there okay so uh, see you on the next video. Thanks.